new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you hey guys um look i just wanted to tap in really quick i just got this feeling man um that this summer is uh it's about to be a white boy summer you know, take it how you want. Is this your king? Is this your king? An Illinois professor is facing hate crime charges for yelling racial slurs and spitting in the face of a black woman because he does not like black people. Alberto Friedman whose link profile identifies him as a professor at the National University of Health Sciences, was charged Sunday with aggravated assault and a hate crime in the alleged September 7th incident outside of Oak Park Grocery Store in Chicago. Prosecutors stated that Friedman, age 53 of Oak Park, started yelling and honking his horn as he was stopped behind the woman who was parked outside of a Jewel Osco where her seven-year-old daughter was located. He then got out of his car while allegedly hurling racial slurs and slammed the woman's car door shut and spit in her face. She stated that he did so because he doesn't like black people, and that was according to her attorney. The woman's mother came out of the grocery store and heard the slurs. She also saw Friedman allegedly spit at her daughter. The woman hopped out of her car to get the man's license plate, prompting him to allegedly accelerate towards her, but she wasn't struck. But Friedman's Jaguar hit the woman's car twice. Witnesses intervened in the confrontation when he got out of his car a second time and he was later arrested. Store surveillance video captured the incident, but prosecutors didn't specify Sunday what could be seen or heard in the footage. An attorney for Friedman denied that he used any racial slurs during the encounter. Quote, it is in our position that it's fabricated that he used any such language. He's a minority himself. He's a child of immigrants. This is completely outside of his nature. McNamara stated that Friedman has a doctorate in kinesiology, exercise science and neurology, and currently teaches neurokinesiology at the National University of Health Sciences. Friedman's name, however, was not listed amongst its facility members on the university's website, but a school spokesman confirmed his employment in a statement to the Post while saying he has been suspended as an investigation continues. Friedman's LinkedIn profile identifies him as a professor at the National University of Health Sciences. He previously served as a facility member at Indiana State University. A judge ordered Friedman to be released on a bail of $2,500 while barring him from contacting the woman or witnesses. She also stated that she couldn't ignore that the alleged incident took place in front of the woman's young child. Friedman is reportedly due back in court on Wednesday. I just want people to understand and note that this educated young man, this king of kings, decided that he had an issue with a black woman and he decided in order to express that issue that he himself wanted to decide to use biological agents in order to directly show that frustration right now remember this is one of the great ones this is one of the king of kings this is one of the many ones that of a lot will decide to say that oh you know he's a great catch he's a great pick uh, they always defend, you know, their women. Uh, they never do anything wrong and, you know, so on and so on and so on and so on and so on. And also note specifically, he did this to a black woman. He didn't do this to a black man. He didn't do this to a young black man. He did this to a black woman with a daughter. And her daughter was there to witness what took place with her mother by way of this real king here. Now look at that. How do you think that psychologically that's going to affect that little girl? And psychologically, how is she also going to view and see her mother after that took place? I would love for somebody to make me understand that. Because, you know, regardless of whatever people would, you know, like to say, this is something that happens. It's just not really talked about a lot and it's not really reported on 
um, a lot. It can happen by way of friends. It can happen by way of parties. It can happen by way of relationships or marriages. It can happen in a variety of different settings. But the key factor is the fact that it's allowed to happen. It's allowed to happen. Now, like I said before, the lawyer tried to sweep this under the rug and he was like, well, you know, this person, Mr. Alberto, is a minority himself. <laughs> Why would he want to act against, you know, his own character? Why would he want to act, you know, act against himself, you know, and portraying, you know, some type of heinous crime as, you know, some type of villainous individual as to do such a thing in the public and to another minority as well? That defeats the purpose. He's educated. He's a professor. He teaches at a university. He has a good paying job. He drives a jack for Christ's sake. Why would my client want to do this to a black woman? Why? Right? That's how his lawyer made it seem. Right? But nothing in there, uh, you know, gave any type of rhyme or reason why it is that he would want to use a biological agent on a black woman who has a black daughter. No. There, there, there's, there's not even an inkling or thought as to why it is that that would be okay and for all intents and purposes it's not okay but like I said before you have a lot of individuals out here who decide to put guys like this directly on a platform they want to put them on a pedestal they want to say that they are the greatest of the greatest they want to say that these are the real kings of the world but yet this is what a real king did to a black woman interesting ain't it like the lawyer pointed out he's also a minority and he did this to another minority yeah obviously that minority does not really believe that he's a minority right he believes that he's a part of the true americans he figures that even though he has a name he has a lineage he fits for all intents and purposes looking at him as a true american which he does if his name wasn't up here i would go hey look at that true american right there but for all intents and purposes <laughs> this is a true american so you know like i said before i don't know what to tell people people can uh you know love who they want to love people can believe what they want to believe but i'm going to continue to bring stories like this to the forefront because obviously those same people don't want to pay attention to things like this that happen specifically to black women but anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that I listed in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video. I also want to state this is one of the main reasons why I've stated to a lot of black women on this platform. This is why I've advocated so hard in a multitude of other videos that black women need to be prepared at all times because, you know, like I said before, you guys are, you know, moving differently out here now. Uh, you know, some women don't want relationships. They don't want to be married and a variety of other things. So it is up to you to basically protect yourself it is up to you to basically do the things that you need to do in order to make sure that if push comes to shove if anybody decides to come against you and yours meaning your life and the life of your kids that you are able to uh protect yourself and to make sure that you and your family will make it home at the end of the day like i said before i would rather you be judged in court versus you know carried by several people at a funeral but anyways, like I said, just pay attention and, you know, keep your head on a swivel like Phil says. And, um, you know, look out for a lot of the individuals that's out here.